What is the thing that is hurt? Is it your psyche? Is it your observing? We are not analyzing, observing psyche, or basically the image that you have built about yourself. Do you understand my question? The image I, one has built about oneself. I might build an image about myself, saying I'm a great man, I'm audience, you know, blah, blah, blah. I travel all over the world, how important it is, and, I'm, and so on. I have reached some state. You follow? I have built an image about myself, as you have built an image about yourself. I haven't got it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> because I'm, I'm from childhood, I never have wanted an image. It's too stupid. So, having created an image about oneself, a noble, ignoble, or inferior, or superior, whatever it is, ugly, beautiful, um, with fanciful decoration, mm, and romantic, sentimental, you know, the image that each one has, that gets hurt, right? So can you? We are discuss. We are talking over together. Please, can one be free of the image? And who is the creator of the image? You're following all this. You see, you are. You are not thinking together. I am telling, asking the questions. Just a minute. We are thinking together. I hope. <laughs> Who is the creator of this image? Because in that image there is safety, you understand? There is security. There is what you would call identification. National identification, religious identification, Economic identification, democrat, republic, you follow? You have this image has been created from childhood, right? Through education, so on. Who is the creator of all this? As we said, knowledge is the factor of this image. Right? I wonder if you meet it. Our experience at all levels of life, as a carpenter, as a scientist, as a housewife, home builder, as it's called now, and so on, so on, so on, we all have created the images for ourselves. And when that image is questioned, doubted, somebody puts pin into it, you get hurt. As long as you have an image about yourself, you are going to get hurt. Like a man who says, I have achieved enlightenment, you follow? And he's talking about environment, preaching about environment. Such a man knows nothing about environment, about enlightenment. It's just his concept, you follow? So, is it possible then to live a life, daily life, without this image? And who creates this image? It is the result of 
knowledge, obviously. Knowledge that you have, the mind, the brain has acquired through centuries, and that knowledge has been translated as the image, and that image predominates. But that image is always living within the field of ignorance. I want you to see that. Because knowledge can never be complete. Right? So, the, whatever knowledge psychologically one has acquired, it is surrounded by the shadow of ignorance. Right? So the problem is, are you interested in all this? So the problem is, is it possible to be free of psychological knowledge and yet not identify the technological knowledge psychologically? You, you understand? I want to see. I'll, I'll go into. I'll, we're talking together as two friends, uh, inquiring into the problem of conflict and seeing the necessity, the absolute urgency of ending conflict. Because if we don't end it, you and I. The speaker are going to destroy the world, which we are doing now. So the question is, experience, knowledge, memory, see the cons- sequence of it. First, experience. Then. Out of that experience, acquiring knowledge, given by others or by oneself, and that is stored up in the brain as memory. Right? That memory, that knowledge, that experience creates this image. But that knowledge has never acknowledged the fact that it is incomplete. It must live in, in the shadow of ignorance, however much it may advance or ascend. Right? It must be in the field of ignorance, and therefore must be in conflict. Right? 